फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय हॉस्पिटल एट रनाघाट वेस्ट बंगाल इंडिया दिस इज फिकमल्स वेकेशन ऑफ अ मैच्योर सेनाइल कैटरैक्ट दिस इज अ टोटली अन एडिटेड रिकॉर्डिंग द ओकुलर सरफेस इज थॉरली इरिगेटेड बाय बैलेंस्ड सॉल्ट सॉल्यूशन एंड पोविडोन आयोडीन एंड देन द मेन इंसीशन इज प्लेस्ड एट ए सिलेक्टेड साइट विथ अ टू पॉइंट एट मिलोमीटर कैराटोम This is a mid-limbal incision. And now one paracentesis is made on the right side of the main incision and another paracentesis is made on the left side of the main incision. Now an air bubble is injected into the anterior chamber. I prefer to stain the anterior capsule with trypanol blue dye underneath an air bubble because the dye is not diluted by aqueous humor and when it is applied underneath an air bubble the staining is very nice in a very short time so the dye is spread evenly over all parts of the anterior capsule and then the dye is washed out with bss and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber from the appearance i thought this is an intumescent cataract we can see some water clips in the anterior part of the cataract but as soon as the anterior capsule is punctured nothing came out indicating normal intralenticular pressure so though i started the rexis thought of doing a small rexis i went to the periphery and did this spiral rexis to increase the initial rexis initial mobs and to do an optimum sized rexis Yes, this rexis size is about five millimeter, and little bit of hydrodissection is being done. And now, let us see how the nucleus appears. The handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber. Some superficial cortical matter is aspirated. and now we see a quite hard nucleus yes it must be grade 4 or grade 4 plus and now this is the first job yes though the cataract appeared hard it is brittle and it is getting divided very easily so it is not very hard cataract it is say about grade 4 or even grade 3 plus nuclear sclerosis and now after dividing the nucleus into several pieces each nuclear fragment is emulsified and removed this is the last but one and this is the last nuclear piece so the nucleus has been managed well and now the handpiece is removed 2% aspmc is injected again this keeps the anterior chamber formed and it protects the corneal endothelium and now this is the cortical lens matter this is a 23 gauss simco and the cortex is coming out very nicely by this simple instrument so after thorough cleaning of the cortical matter 
polishing of the posterior capsule is done by the irrigating jet of fluid here it is the irrigating proof is placed in such a way that the irrigating fluid is directed towards the posterior capsule and the posterior capsule gets cleaned very nicely and this is hydro implantation of a foldable intraocular lens the irrigating probe supports the optic of the intraocular lens so that the lens doesn't tumble so that the lens doesn't flip and it presses the uh, junction of the optic and the trailing haptic and the trailing haptic goes into the capsular bag and now whatever viscoelastic substance was there in lumen of the cartridge is irrigated out and we are towards the end of this surgery this is a bit of moxifloxacin now these side ports are closed by irrigating BSAs into the stroma on either side of these stab wounds and here it is this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber you can see that the anterior capsular rim has covered the optic all around very nicely so this is the right size of rexus and the anterior chamber is formed the wounds are checked there should not be any leakage from any site and then the case is concluded thank you very much for watching hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills hope it will inspire you to be a great surgeon